What's up guys? It's June 19th, 2023. It's a Monday. And this week, or this past week, I've been mowing pretty much every other day. Uh, grass has kind of, kind of grown in now since the uh, top dressing project with the sand. And still just have some bare spots that still need to be filled in. And I'm doing a soil test today to kind of see where I'm at on my MPK levels and my, my uh, micronutrient levels. Um, but yeah, just wanted to give an update on how the things have been. Um, this lawn, this side of the yard here is almost fully, it's almost filled in completely. I'm starting to see some dips right there so I know exactly where the sand needs to fill out now. I'm trying to do a little stripe action with my real mower but not quite there yet. I don't think the grass is thick enough uh, to give us that effect. But uh, you know, just keep working on it. I'm gonna keep mowing it and grass should grow laterally, make things thicker. But uh, yeah, so this whole part here has been reeled mowed now. I've done that three times this past week. Uh, this section here has been reeled mowed. I've been using the reel mower uh, majority of the time now, and I started reel mowing on that side as well. Those areas where it's kind of sandy, uh, I'm still using the, the the Toro time cutter, but I guess it's gonna be tough to have this fill in because of these trees here. Um, the shade just prevents the Bermuda from growing, so. I've just been real mulling where it's heavy in the grass areas, kind of stop there. And then I just come back in with the riding mower to finish off all that. But I've been real mulling there, been going right there across the front of the house. And then this section here is 100% all real mold now. That too. Over there, not real mold. Uh, that one's the worst section of the front lawn. That there is uh, still using a riding mower because it's just too sandy uh, to get a real mower, and I don't want to wear out my blades, so I'm still just using a riding mower to mow this small area here, and can't get grass to grow because of this tree. But yeah, I've taken soil samples this morning. Um, I'm doing another soil test because I want to see exactly where I'm at. Um, as, as the years go on, I'll probably only do twice a year, but this year. Um, it's kind of the start of my lawn care uh, adventure. So I'm doing uh, three soil tests this year. And I've already picked those out, um, dug those up, and I've got them in, in my container here. I'm just mixing up basically all the dirt right now. If I were to look at it, it kind of still looks the same as it did in March when I was doing it. Uh, it's still kind of brown and clay looking. But uh, yeah, I've been, I use my soil tests basically. This is what I used last time. I'm gonna continue to use this because it already has uh, my uh, information in there. It has my stats or my records, so I can basically just compare it from you know my results from uh, this time versus the other one to see where I'm at. And this is the ionized water where you put the the dirt in. Just fill it up as as much as you can shake it up a little bit stick it in this little uh, postage stamp uh, postage envelope and then uh, send it off and then within a week uh, they will give you your results online and from there you can you can figure out what, what your next uh, fertilizer program needs to be so as I said uh, this this the start of this year I was using the uh, Yard Mastery flagship. And this is the 2406 that I was using. Uh, now that we're in the month of June and hot weather is to come, 100 degree weather may go with a stress blend, but it depends on what my soil sample says. So I'll keep you guys updated and uh, keep mowing. Gonna try to do it every other day. All right, signing out. Good afternoon. It is June 24, 2023. Update on my lawn. Pretty much everything has pretty much uh, grown in. Uh, just barely any uh, spots to fill in now. Grass is growing rapidly. I've been mowing every other day. 
Uh, this past week, uh, I just had my newborn child, um, so I didn't have a chance to get every other day, but I managed to get a cut in on Wednesday. Uh, took a little break from the hospital and jumped home and did a quick mow. And then uh, today's Saturday, so I only got a chance to mow twice this week, but the grass is growing really quick. Um, have not considered PGR yet, still kind of new to the game. and. Not sure if it's something that I need to be doing on this lawn yet because I'm still trying to fill in bare spots. And even though they say that it slows down the, the vertical growth and um, you know promotes the, the horizontal growth, I also uh, read up that you know you shouldn't be doing it if you're still trying to fill in spots in your lawn because I guess your grass won't be growing, uh, won't be spreading to fill in those spots. So uh, yeah, middle area here still needs to be filled in. Uh, as you can see, my certainty has been taking place. All my sedges are starting to die out. And this area here where I had a lot of problems trying to fill in, it's actually starting to fill in now. And you can see a lot of the stolons and runners are actually coming across. So I anticipate this will probably fill in by the end of July or early August. Same thing over there, uh, that spot's filled in. But from, from a far view, it looks very good. Um, I imagine that I could probably do another top, top dressing project this year to get it more flat, but I don't think I will. I'm gonna wait till next year to do another aeration and top dressing with sand. Uh, just go ahead and let the grass grow and spread as it needs to be this year, and then um, start it over again next year. This area is still giving me some problems. I think mainly has to do with the shade that goes on during the day. It's not until about after 12 that um, the sun actually starts shining on this full 100%. And uh, I filled in some more sand in here today because some of these spots are still uh, low. Same thing over there. But yeah, this area has grown really well. Uh, this area was had some difficulty last year and had a lot of weeds, but now it's full of Bermuda. So that's an accomplishment there for this year. That area is giving me a problem. I'm trying to figure out what's going there. I've actually took out some of the uh, runners and stolons from the uh, those growing in my little rock area of my entrance pulled it down to the roots and then stuffed that in put some carbonized pn you know dug a little slot put carbonized pn and put those roots in there and i need to water this shortly after this video so to hopefully get this to grow this area gets too much shade so nothing's going to grow here um, but you can see just the outline of the shade where the grass is actually growing because this is kind of how it it consistently goes on through every day, right? So you got sun shining all over there. And you can kind of see how the Bermuda is trying to grow. And it's actually trying to spread over here, but uh, it doesn't get enough sunlight in the day for it to you know, get its full growth. But yeah, this uh, month of June next and uh, next month are, is like the full growth season. So this is where the uh, grass is at, at, its, uh, at its peak, where it's growing really strong. I did a soil test. Uh, I can't remember, was it last week? I want to say sometime last weekend. And then I uh, turned it in, they, they've received it, my souls have received it, the lab, and they'll be giving me my results probably sometime later this, this week, uh, next week, I mean. And uh, we'll see what fertilizer I'm gonna use. I'm gonna keep doing Nutrisolve, micronutrients, uh, bi-monthly, and see what kind of fertilizer I need to lay down. Hydrotain was laid down uh, a little over a week ago. They said that this, uh, this week we're going to get um, weather in 100 degrees, so that hydrocane should help out with the grass, making sure that nothing dries out. But uh, I did, we did get some rain yesterday, and the sprinklers actually went off this morning, so I've gotten my inch of uh, water for this week. But I think I'm going to turn it back on over here on this, on this zone, because uh, I just put some sand here, so I need to get that wet in. But yeah, overall, Definitely an improvement from the beginning of the year, if you remember what my video showed. And we can keep going. We'll see how it goes toward the end of August. Hopefully I can get this uh, fully grown in and thick. And I'd say it's a pretty good accomplishment for the year of 2023. And we'll see how far we get. All right, signing out guys. Good morning guys, it is June 30th. 2023 last day of june just gonna give you an update today we're heading into the month of july 
temperatures have been in the hundreds during the day, 90s at night, and the grass has been growing extremely fast. Laid no PGR um, because I'm not too familiar with exactly how that works at the moment. So I've just been mowing every other day and thought I'd get a quick update on how things have been. I would say uh, grass has grown in as much as it can in the spots that needs to be. And any of the areas that are patchy uh, most likely has construction debris underneath. For example, here. It's already been um, over a month now since we did the sand top dressing. So at this point, grass should already be filled in in all the areas that it needs to be. So I'm gonna give a quick mow this morning. It is seven o'clock and got my soil test results back. Surprisingly, it was low on the nitrogen. Um, it actually went lower than what it originally was. And that could just be due to, you know, how much the grass has been consuming from uh, its previous times. I sent it over to Ron Henry, he, had not, he analyzed it. And I had asked him whether I should go with the Humic Max 1608. And he said, yeah, go and do that and do it at the high rate actually. Because with as much work as I've been putting into the lawn, it is demanding more. So give it the high rate, that way we can give it what it needs and keep doing what I'm doing. So doing my bi-monthly Nutrisolve spoon feeding. And uh, I also started doing the Carbon Pro G um, last month when I did the top dressing. So I'll be laying that down this evening along with the Humic Max and then the Nutrisolve. And then we'll get that watered in. I'll have irrigation turned on tomorrow morning. It starts at 4 a.m. And we should see how uh, everything will pop for this uh, 4th of July. But, yep, let's go ahead and do a morning mow here and then get this started.
with the morning mow. Took about an hour and 15 minutes. I did double cut everything. Uh, that's what I tend to do. Uh, just one pass doesn't seem to get the get everything cut. So I do go over it in a different direction. I usually do a cross uh, pattern. So I usually go like sideways and then up and down on the yard. But yeah, um, I happened to lose lose my um, nut for one of the uh, front rollers. Let me walk up there and show you guys. But. Luckily, it didn't happen until toward the end uh, when I was trying to cut over there, you know, the uh, kind of irrelevant spot of the yard where it doesn't get any sun. But I was just pushing it and all of a sudden uh, it wouldn't go anymore. It started going over, the, the roller started moving and the uh, mower was pushing into the ground. And I come to find out that the front roller got loose show you guys over here what it looks like yeah so this happened to come loose right here from the hole and uh, this started moving when I was pushing it you see that the roller is loose and you know the I guess the blade the bed knife and all that in the bottom was pushing up against the ground so it wasn't moving and that's when I Pulled it aside and found that, oh, I'm missing my nut that's going into the rod. Basically, it's the same thing as this over here on the other side. The rod basically popped out. So I don't know when it fell out, because this rod might, might have been in there for quite a while before uh, I had noticed that this had fallen out. But I'd say this is a pretty poor design by McLean. They should have used a, a lock nut instead of a, just a regular nut. And here's an example of a lock nut right here. That'll kind of prevent it from, you know, getting loose. I might go to Home Depot and buy, buy that. But yeah, I'm running, walking around the yard looking for it now and I can't find it, so. That's my update, guys. Um, like I said, later on today, I'll be laying down the Carbon Pro G and then the 1608 Hemet Max. I'm looking forward to see how my lawn's gonna turn for the month of July. Hopefully the color is gonna pop. I'll get some nice looking color. Let me show you what came in yesterday. Here it is, 1608 Country Club by Lebanon Turf. That's what's going down for the month of July. And I'm gonna do, this time I'm gonna do 6,000 square feet. Um, and I'm gonna do it at the high rate of uh, five pounds per square foot. So 1,000 square foot which basically says on the earthquake spreader, it's a 15 and a half setting. So that's what I'm gonna use. And uh, it'll be 30 pounds of this stuff that I'll be laying down tonight. And I still got my Carbon Pro G here. Still got a few more bags of that. Also got Essential G. I think I might put that in the month of August. But uh, I'm gonna lay a full bag of Carbon Pro G. I'm just gonna go ahead and just put the whole bag in there and run it at the five pounds per thousand square foot. And I uh, can't remember what setting that is on the, on the uh, Earthway Spurter. I think it's 13. I'll have to double check, but yeah. And then, uh, of course, I'll do my Nutrizolve spray and then get it all watered in tomorrow morning. But yeah, I will give an update once that time comes later tonight. All right, so roughly around 8.30 right now. I just got done laying the uh, Carbon Pro G. I uh, went ahead and did it at the five pound per square foot rate and I was just went ahead and just did the whole bag um, For 7,000 square feet that would have been 35 pounds. Uh, there's 40 pounds in the bag I just went ahead and just did the whole thing uh, Overlapped some areas. It doesn't hurt anything. It's not fertilizer. It's not doesn't have any NPK in it. It's just a soil amendment and This on the other hand um, I'm gonna do 6,000 square feet um, there are some areas where the grass isn't growing, so I don't want to waste this fertilizer. I really want to make sure that it captures all the, uh, uh, you know, the grass. So I'm going to do 6,000 square foot. Um, I was told, Ron Henry told me to do it at the five pound per square foot uh, rate, which is the high rate. So that would make it to 30 pounds. So basically I'm either going to have to take uh, 15 pounds out or just measure it to, uh, 30 out and then use the scale to weigh and then just dump it in my Earthway spreader. Um, let me double check and make sure the Earthway rotary is set at 15 and a half. Uh, let's see. 
the two and a half earth wave rotary. And that's exactly where I've got it set right now. Don't want to make that mistake that I did over a Memorial Weekend where I had it set up my Carbon Pro G level. But yeah, let's go ahead and measure this out and throw this down. Um, it's getting kind of dark now, so I'm not even sure if I can get the neutrals all in, but I need to hurry up and try to get this done. Just going to show real quick what the granules look like. Uh, SGM size is pretty small. Let's look at it here. Uh, that blue part is uh, the Mesa technology, as Ron Henry had mentioned. Yep. All right, last measurement of the 10 pound. Got 30 pounds in here. Go lay it down. Literally doing this in the dark. Put her down, open, let's go. All right, well, unfortunately, uh, time has ran out, it's dark out, and I can't run the, or I can't get the Nutrisolve in tonight, so uh, something came up this evening where uh, I, had, I was planning on timing out my, uh, laying my fertilizer and then putting Nutrisolve down, but uh, I had to do something before that, prior to it, so I uh, wasn't able to get everything done tonight. So, sprinklers are gonna run uh, this evening. And then uh, a little water in the fertilizer and then the Nutrizolve, I'll just have to find some time to put it in tomorrow. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow evening. I mean, it is July 1st. So usually on the schedule, we use Nutrizolve on the first of the month and the 15th of the month. And uh, for, as far as fertilizer, I just wanted to make sure I, I got that in, my granulars in before the uh, sprinklers run uh, later this morning at four. So. That's about it for tonight, folks. It is June 30th, uh, 2023. Got my fertilizer laid on. Um, got the Carbon Pro GN pool bag. Ran it at the five pound per square foot rate. And then I did my Humic Max. And I did that also at a five pound per square foot rate and did 6,000 square feet of it. So we'll let that water in um, later on uh, in the morning. And then we'll go from there. I do actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and water there because I did turn the sprinklers off on that zone. So I think I'll go ahead and water that tonight. But yeah, that's pretty much it, folks. Um, and then we'll see if whether or not the 4th of July is enough time for it to pop and show some color. But I'm interested to see how well this granular fertilizer is. And we ran it at the high rate. So hopefully we'll see some results. All right, signing out, guys. I'll give you guys an update later.